Hello everybody, welcome to the Season 47 first round match between uh, Arzawi and the ex-PlayStation 4 admin who did some things and Andy Davo. <laughs> um, Arzawi has Nurgle, Davo has Undead. In the booth with me is Fimea and Dimmy. Hello. Hello. Interesting uh, game on paper. Here is a decent uh, Undead team versus a good, uh, also decent uh, Nurgle team. Yeah, it's actually a big advantage for the, the Undead team because there's a... What's he called? Arzwin has got a Mercenary Rotter and a Mercenary Warrior. <laughs> um, which is strange, isn't it? A Warrior with Guard. So he's done a lot of TV to get both of those things. And he's down. <laughs> More and than that. Ch Chicken McNargle is out the... Uh... I mean, how much TV is this? 110, 160, uh, 260? 260 TV down and you've got like two players. Pretty weird. It's probably maybe the right decision actually. And he's got a claw mighty with strength and the strength of guard. Not a lot to it is there, his Devil's team's pretty great. He's got the tackle mighty, he's got loads of guard, loads and loads and loads and loads of guard. Um, very nice undead team. A lot better than mine. I uh, didn't want to say it, but uh, yes. <laughs> coach as well. Whoa, hey! Whoa. <laughs> I hate the frenzy, of course, on the white. That should have been piling on. And that'd be much better. But hey, there's a lot of bad players in CCL. And Frenzy is very good against bad players. <laughs> and uh, the guard after it, you know, for the classic Frenzy repositioning. Yep, yep. The inducements are a mercenary rotter and a mercenary warrior with guard. So there's like about 250 TV between them. I, I don't think... Well, it's only 11... Uh, the mercenary rotter, you know, like, wouldn't be better to have a babe or... I mean, because Rotters are shite. <laughs> they are, but it means he can foul, right? He's got, he's got, a, he's got two dirty players, so it gives him a bench to foul. And also, like egos are terrible. So, like maybe if he could have had apples, he, you know, maybe no, he no, could no. Have I mean, apples. babes, babes for yeah, the yeah, chaos. Yeah, 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 yeah. But babes are a bit shit. So, like, if he could have had an apple, maybe he would have had an apple. But seeing as he, seeing as it's like a babe, or like he's seventy TV for the rotter, so it's all a babe or the rotter. It's interesting uh andy's pushing the left flank this early because this is not what he told me in our coaching lesson oh yeah Ooh. Well, have, i'm gonna i'm gonna have to dm him about this one and find out what the want my what money the back is. <laughs> yeah yeah i want my money back the reason i haven't won chalice is because i've been following andy's advice now i'm joking <laughs> they're following the advice of someone that also wants to win chalice <laughs> he will never give you the you know the whole uh, information. Honestly, that was that's what put me off doing my offensive setups guide because like I see people in Chalice semi-finals and stuff doing terrible ones, and I think I don't want to make them better. <laughs> Genuinely, yeah, it's like the poker players. You know, this great player is going to uh, train me. He is only going to you know allow he, allow you to reach his level so he can uh, get all your money. <laughs> yeah, like, I've tried, I've tried the spider a bit to be fair. Mm. Like, see, I guess he's got a bit of an overcommit. The problem is, like, what he did with this with this push, like, obviously it maybe gave him a chance to frenzy somebody, and he didn't push the both mummies down, so he kept the mummies pretty central, so he could swing back with the mummies and go the other way. Blitz with the mummy, there you go, block less block. Like it wasn't a commit to the side; it was a probe to the side, wasn't it? You've got the probe. Block. block. You have to probe a bit, Dimmy, that's the thing with your drive. Your drive has to probe a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean I, I understand, like. Um but yeah, it was a it was a pretty aggressive probe. Uh, not that aggressive. I don't, I don't think it was that aggressive because it was it was opening up a frenzy opportunity potentially. That an actual frenzy opportunity, not a space cadet frenzy opportunity, and like an actual, you know, there's a chance that Arzawa would have a brain fart or roll some bad dice. And open up a frenzy chance. Uh, now he's going to get surfed himself, isn't he? Here. Yeah, the DP. Oh no, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's just—he's just going to claw. He's just going to claw my ear, mummy. 
Which is fair, right? Removing mummies is good, but no power. Oh yeah, the bad advice is I've seen that, of course. I've seen I've seen pumping iron. Uh, it was really it was really funny. I mean Arnie was a funny chap, wasn't he? Interesting that he's not hitting with a beast there, because like tying him up isn't that good. Oof. <laughs> and uh, the why the with Blotch doing the Lord's work there. Yep. Running Almost. up that hill could reach number one. It's only going to reach number one because of Stranger Things, though. Yeah, but it's it's like a more successful song ever, isn't it? Just because of Stranger Things. Pretty funny. Yeah. It's a but shame that Hellboy's so busy because he could have made us. He could have made a song rolling that uphill. <laughs> <laughs> Which is nearly, <laughs> nearly. You're rolling perfect. up that hill. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good, isn't it? It's so good. <laughs> if my skull was thick, I'd make a deal with Rick and get him to change our tires. <laughs> <laughs> oh, frenzy, dude! What? Yeah. <laughs> uh, dear. There you go, and now. Uh... I can't, I can't Nargel, sing at all, though. That's the problem, Mad Skills. The Nargle team is a split in two. Yeah. Yeah, this this lone blodger, like, occupying three players is incredible, isn't it? Yes, and the follow of the strength uh, five. I mean, to be fair, Jim, me and Elliot can't sing, and we, we made a blitz pit number one. <laughs> you did, yeah. It was really good. Because there, wasn't, there wasn't any Blitz piece number two. <laughs> well, don't say that. <laughs> I'm going to put another guy on him. Oh, I guess he gets a 3D. Yeah, okay. Does Kanye ever sing? No, he just talks fastly. Hmm. I wonder if he should have hit with a, with a beast first, right, to see if it's stupid. Ah, but then he doesn't get the 3D afterwards. Tough. Yeah, and you want to move the beast, probably. Well, yeah, but the problem is, what if it goes stupid? Now he's still got three people stuck in this guy, but he got the he got the armor. He's going to have the armor bust. Here, the bro. Oh, beast on mummy action. Ooh, uh, oh, instant reroll. That was an instant reroll. Everybody knew oh, that. Wow. That is crazy. But he has three rerolls, so. Greedy. And get it, getting rid of a mummy is absolutely massive. Yep, it could have been the right player, but it was still greedy. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, who let the dogs out and then and then the wolf sound effect would be incredible, wouldn't it? Hey, the wrestle hit. Glorious. Not greedy there from Devo. Obviously, the greedy thing would be to try and hit with a with a zombie so that you can free up the uh, you can free up the goal to get downfield. But instead, went for the safe block and with a high percentage chance of knockdown. Nice to see. We might have to bang it in early here, but I think that's fine. Right at the end of the day, it gives him more chances to get his KO, doesn't it? Yeah, it gives him more chances to get his mummy back. No, it doesn't really. No, it doesn't at all, Jim. No, was, uh... no that was stupid. Exactly but... the same amount of chances yeah, to get well, his back. Like, you know, <laughs> Unless the Nogal score early. again, in which case yeah. you will yeah. get exactly, more yeah. chances to get his mummy back. That's yeah. what I was thinking, yeah. Yeah, just just go for the 1-1 one, one drive just so you know you get your mummy back. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And then... Uh, no, you know, like at least they're, they're not that likely to score quickly, and you know, you're not that likely to score. Oh, so. there is a goal getting club home there. Yep, three day. But you can protect all of them. But only my, oh my god, only oh my, my god. god. <laughs> and he gets the power. This is only my god, it's not that exciting, but obviously, I mean, the triple score is exciting. Yeah, now that greed reroll on the mummy looks. Yes, now that greed reroll on the mummy is yes, it doesn't look good. Mm. I love the greed like it's so hard like because I love the greed reroll on the mummy, but then it also looks worse now, doesn't it? It just looks worse. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, no follow there. 
got a range 12, 11, 10. So yeah, I would have got in range and I would have, I would have not been afraid to bang it in. To be honest. Not He's at the cricket set of field. Oh, apparently he didn't go because it was a two-hour drive. <laughs> so he made Flicky go and then didn't turn up. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, isn't it, how like Americans like have you know ten-hour drives and twenty-hour drives and stuff, and then <laughs> a two-hour drive is like hefty in the UK. It's... Yeah, yeah. We like literally can't have a five-hour drive. <laughs> Just well, not I know, you, can. No, no, no. you can, you can. Yeah, yeah, if you get traffic. But do you know what I mean, like, lengthwise? No, no, no. You come to Scotland, everything is as a five-hour drive. <laughs> yeah, and if you if you drive from, like, Hastings to Devon, there's no, like, motorway, so it is, like, a five-hour drive, like. Oh. Yeah. All right. But do you know what I mean? Secret. Like, from, from one end of the country to the other. Yeah, yeah, so, like they, they haven't even left their own state. And yeah, still, yeah, yeah, yeah. They've still got another seven hours to go or whatever. Which is mental, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's for the big states because you can go to the New York area and you can cross like uh, three million states in five minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, 16 hours. Flip me. So he's he's getting in the way, but he's not putting heat on, is he, with this? That zombie there with dirty player, he's been doing the Lord's uh, job for the whole half. Mm. Keeping the best uh, warrior out of the action. Do you bang it in this turn? You can blitz him and then just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, G, 5, G, 5. Probably, Jim. Yeah, maybe, because like I'm really not happy about this. <laughs> like, you block, let's me. block again. Like, even though like Devo has the more TV, like you know, a bit TV advantage and everything, I'm still oh wow, frenzy, frenzy opportunity. I would still not be happy as the undead in this matchup. Well, especially now with there being a money down this. Oh, Ooh, this could be very risky, wow. but it works. It's in wrestle. Don't get this. Yeah, I don't know about this. So now you put uh, now you put the beast on, right? Now yes. You, you blitz this blitz this guy with a with a claw, and then put the beast on. Who's Durf on? Is he a the it was zombie? the zombie, the yeah. poor zombie on the side. But the oh, regens! Oh, wow. it's the uh, the absolute serpent. legend. He hits the sidestepper and he doesn't sidestep onto there. That's that's an insane block. He could have gone one, two, three, four, five. Oh, and it's Lona. What? Loner. Okay, this was an absolutely. Horrendous. Why? Yeah, horrendous. Oh, you, you blitz yeah. him and put the beast on the ball. Yeah. And instead well, just... stamp. The problem is, it is stamp firm, but you have got tackle, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then you put the beast on the ball and then... I mean, yeah. he has... Yeah, after but... that, then he has led to the on the ball, right? With the strength for the beasts? No, 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 because you would have blitzed the stamp firm to get him off the beasts. So you would have based with the beast. Yeah, I, I, I like basing with a beast, hitting the hitting the other guy and, and doing that way. Oh, but he could have got a dice in the ball, could he? Is that what you're saying, Fabio? If he if he piled that goal. Yes, I mean it was the the, the next one. The side step didn't go to the to tag the strength four. Yeah. So the strength four could have uh, hit the ball. Hmm. Mm. Well, I'm gonna go back. Fuck it. I mean, yeah, maybe, there was, maybe there was another piece there that I was uh, missing. Yeah, he's got guard, right though, hasn't he? He's got guard. So yes, but you are if he powers five. him, yeah, if he powers, if he powers this guy, he's just got two D on the ball. Yeah, okay, fair yeah. enough. Yes, yeah, so that's why he was hitting him because he, he he's got two chances. Of, but he didn't hit with this guy. Why didn't he hit with a wrestler? That's the thing. He hit with oh, the, He had a wrestler. That's the thing, you know, that was Still I was trying to. Yeah. Did he stand to up? No, that? surely he must have stood stood up. Yeah, yeah, he stood up. Okay, he stood up. The wrestler stood up. 
Yeah, so that was it. So he, that's why he did that hit to try and power him and then try and power him again. Yeah. He powers him, he gets 2D on the ball. But I don't know, I, I prefer just hitting hitting him and then powering him and then getting that. I don't know. Like, I guess powering the ball is pretty good, isn't it? But you've got to pow. Like, hard power. Yeah, attack him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Attack him. So. No, no, the sidestep, the first sidestepper you don't have tackle on, do you? So you've got to. Oh yeah, you've, you've, but you've got a chance at thirty percent in him. But then he, but then if he, he sidestepped kind of the wrong way, right? Because he could have sidestepped into the tackle. Like so, I think that was a bad sidestep from Dave yeah. or that he just got away. Yeah, with. I, I think uh, tagging the, and, the uh, four was the play. Yeah, for the sure. other thing, the other thing is, is it all comes back to the reroll on the blitz on the mummy, right? Yeah, yeah, maybe. I mean, obviously the triple skulls is incredibly unfortunate, but. If you've got the reroll there, then it makes it a bit easier to make that decision, I think. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot more dice, isn't it, Elliot? If he doesn't power, it's a 5 plus dodge. But yeah, he could have tried. He could have still tried the 5 plus dodge, yeah, that's true. No, he could have done a GFIs with the guy and. Because he hadn't blitzed, had he? He didn't blitz. So he can just yeah. do the GFI and dodge around the goal. Yeah, but it's. it's, it's Double dodging now. Oh no, it's a dodge and a G two, two, two GFIs. Yeah, you want in now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he had a reroll, yeah. Oh, he won in now, he had a reroll, okay. No, no, no. Because his loan wasn't at the loan failed. Yeah, but once, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, so when I would do the first block, like, yeah, fair enough, do the first block if you power, it's fine. But then I don't do the loner block, and then I bleat, then I blitz the the guard, stand firm, and then try and get the beast on the ball. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So been. like, yeah, so like, take the the block first and see if we get the power. But the problem is the sidestep makes you adds adds a dodge and a GFI to to hit the guy to do the beast. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, but I think. You have to do like well, you have to re-roll for it, right? Or okay, but Dimi, but uh, or you re-roll, or you re-roll the block with the guy that's not a loner. The it's like I mean it's hard either way, isn't it? I don't know. The block with the loner probably... is a one in nine. I, I guess the initial and block gives you the thirty percent for the power for the hit. Blitzing with the beast is a one in six of getting a. Well, no, no, but if the loner, if the loner pushes, he just pushes the ball back to where he was in the first place. Well, no, because then the, if the second one hits, then he sidesteps to a better square, presumably. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. If the loner pushes, then... So you, you can't really hit him with the loner anyway. Like, yeah. The loner like, the, hit's I, definitely I, wrong. The loner hit was probably the bit that I didn't agree well, with. Well, unless you power him. If you power him, it's okay. Well, it's... Yeah, but it's still not great. No, it's, it's good if you power him. So he had two 30% chances to power him. But he wasn't. He didn't necessarily have that. That's the thing. He should have only had one thirty percent chance to power him because Davo should have should have sidestepped to the strength four tackle, right? It's so hard. It's so hard to know whether he should have just re-rolled the first hit before the loner. I think he shouldn't have re-rolled the first hit. No, I think. But it's it's whether the first hit is worth it because it makes you it makes you blitz on the on the white. But like you, you're guaranteed for that re-roll to work. That's the thing, isn't it? So like. You're guaranteed for that reroll to work, whereas if you leave it to the loner, why? Well, like, if I fail, I don't take the loner hit. I do the other thing. Well, I, I wouldn't. Ex I wouldn't have expected the loner hit if I failed. That's why I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> you know, right. because yeah, the, yeah, I would. Ex yeah. I would have expected Devo to sidestep to the strength four. So I just wouldn't have even made the hit. Yeah, there's that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm so confused right now. <laughs> mm. I was so confused. If only we had a Blood Bowl AI to work it all out. Like, that's probably one of the things where you could work it out, right? You could literally, it would be really hard, but like, you know, you could get a computer to work out just which, right. which, which was the, what, like, what the, what turn gave the best odds of stopping the score. Like, you could actually work that out, right? Couldn't you? Like, you could. It that might even be the way he did it, to be fair. It could be, yeah. It, it, it genuinely could, because 30% for the POW is pretty decent. But then, like, just re-roll the first one. Yeah. 
I mean, you could earlier, yeah, you, but you'd be it'd be a lot of maths, wouldn't it? It'd be it would be a lot easier to get a computer to do it <laughs> because there's so many things to work out that it would it would take you a long time as a person for absolutely no point or payoff. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of surprised by Davo's turn before. Yeah, I thought that was really I was weird. Yeah. yeah. And like blitz in the wrestle guys, just not what I would have done. I would have blitzed with the zombie, which yeah. might have been wrong. Because the one in nine still still gets you, doesn't it? Like it's still a yeah, turnover. Yeah, you're because, balls on the floor. The yeah, on the floor, yeah. yeah. So it's still a turnover. The only thing is, you've still got the ball, so it's definitely better to blitz with the zombie. So that was the bit that got me. Hmm. I guess the fact is that on a 30% you get the power and then you get to hit the ball, whereas the beast, even if you free him, on a 55%, he's still on a 1 in 6 to not go there anyway, so who knows. Yeah, what's the odds of rolling an 8 on a... Well, is, is it a 9? It's a, no, it's an 8, isn't it, for tentacles? I don't know. I think it's an 8. I know it's quite good. Shrimp 3 versus Shrimp 5, I think, is an 8. Hmm. Yeah, you'd have gone for um, the first hit for sure. I mean, I didn't. Yeah, even, I didn't even look to be honest. I didn't even look to see that it was one hit. So, I guess if I was playing myself, I would have seen that. And if I'd what's seen the, that, I would have made the first hit and tried to roll the thirty percent. I guess so. Yeah. But what's does what's the odds of rolling eight on two d six? Um, I don't know. It's nine, isn't it? It's nine. I'm pretty 45%, sure. Forty-five percent. Yeah. Isn't it nine? Don't you have to roll a nine? I've got no idea. Nine is forty-two percent. Yeah, well, it's it's eight. I thought it was eight plus. Um, or no, that's that's well. wrong, Elliot. That can be, Elliot. Eight, uh, fifty percent. Seven is halfway, right? <laughs> yeah, I thought so it was that... one in three. I thought it was like one in three to roll in it. Oh no, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. way below. Seven is fifty-eight percent. Yeah, seven is fifty-eight percent. Yeah, 28 and 42, yeah. Oh, the mummy stayed out, so you should have let him score and then he would have, <laughs> he would have had more chances to get the mummy back. Oh, yeah, brilliant, no. Tom Schnees, brilliant. Uh, we've only been playing this game for what, like, easily <laughs> half a million hours between everyone in chat? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, no idea what an 8 plus is. Yeah. Nah, if you've got a if you've got a brain, it's pretty easy to work out the seven and eight, isn't it? Because it's it's one in six, isn't it? So then it's half of that over half, so it's fifty eight. So yeah, it's seven plus fifty eight is like super easy to work out, even if you don't know. I just thought I thought breaking AV eight was like a one in three, like on a normal roll. Well, it's close, well, I guess. 42. Yeah, that's that's how like. Well, I yeah, twenty eight. So. Them, yeah, yeah. So I, that's how I got taught was like to break arm. You like if every three times, every three times you punch over you should be breaking it once. Well, depends what the chance to knock them over is, but yes. It, yeah, yeah. But I'm just talking about the armor. I'm not talking yeah. about the knockdown. Yeah. The devil has a frenzy, a frenzy blitzer. Oh, so it's a one in four. Maybe I'm thinking of maybe I'm thinking of AV8 with Mighty Blow then. Maybe that's what it is. Um KFO sent me KFO sent me um a load of uh like stuff on it, which was really nice. KFO is like a really nice guy by the way, just quietly. Yeah, who knew? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and if you if you ask him stuff he like genuinely he like he genuinely wanted me to be good at Blood Bowl but didn't realise I was a total idiot, so <laughs> He sent me all this stuff thinking like I'd actually absorb it and take it in. <laughs> I did read some of it, but I wasn't uh, as good as I could have been. Mm. Yeah, he's got a load of stuff. Like, is it? It's tactics, isn't it? It's something like Blood Bowl tactics or something. He sent me a load of stuff from Blood Bowl tactics mm. with tables on armor breaks and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, that, that sounds like Blood Bowl mm. tactics. Yeah. yeah, and then it was uh, like because he was he was basically telling me that Claw Pom was broken, and then mm. and then he said, "Look at the stats," and I was like, "Holy, yes, this is broken. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is broken." Yeah, I do, Toto. I do still have it. Yeah. 
I could dig it out, I mean, or I haven't got it like to hand. Yeah, that's the that's the thing about the uh about claw pom, you know, people love to diss it and say it's brainless and stuff and say, Oh, we shouldn't pile on there and it's like oh, it's the broken. Stats, it's... Yeah, the stats say you should probably just pile on every time and fuck it. Like yeah, unless it yeah. loses you the game <laughs> that turn. Just pile on because it's no, it's stupid. clearly broken. Yeah, it's clearly broken. It's like a one in like two or something like that. So, or like it's like a one in three for a removal, not even an armor break. It's like for a removal, it's a one in three. Yes, because uh, it's uh, armor seven. So yeah. And the pylon allows you to. Reroll one of the rolls and mighty blow, so yeah, it's absolutely mental. Yep. Oof, big 2D from the beast. Paid off. Yeah, I can probably just... I can probably try and dig it out for you guys. Yeah, it's, it's on BB Tactics. If you go to Blood Bowl Tactics, if you're interested, you'll be, able, you'll be able to find it there. I like this foul here. Yep. He got Terrible the gym foul. result. Now he's going to get surfed. This is it, and this is an anti double game. Oh, Finally, it's our. <laughs> oh, give me the champ. There you go. It's interesting, it is interesting. Mm. It just clearly highlights uh, how broken Claw Mighty Blow is. <laughs> or, well, or no, not even Claw Mighty Blow. Yeah, Claw Pop. Claw Mighty Blow isn't even that broken. No, know. it isn't. It isn't even that good. Yeah, and then Pylon just completely breaks it. Yeah, yeah. So, someone told someone told the people making you know the rules. That this was the case, and like you was showed it, them the map. Was it you, Jim? <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. No, no, because I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't aware that it was getting made. You know, when it was getting made, I wasn't aware of it. Like I had no. Do you know what I mean? I was. I wasn't really interested in Blood Bowl at that point. I, like I didn't know about Fumble or anything and stuff. And like I, I enjoyed it when I was younger, but like I had no idea about. For the longest time, I had no idea about anything to do with Blood Bowl, to be honest. And then, but yeah, there was somebody on a uh, flicks or something or. Some, some something like that on uh, on Fumble, and he just like he showed them all the maths, and they were just like they were just like you just don't know how to play against it with wrestle and fend. And it's like he just literally showed them the maths that it was busted, and their and their response was you aren't using the new skills correctly, which counts. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Just unbelievably what a statement. Yeah, what just, a statement. Yeah, just unbelievably dumb. But that's what Galic Star Scrape is like anyway, right? He, he refused, you know, when they were making the new rules, uh, Jervis Johnson only vetoed one rule, which was the which was the bank rule. And he just fucking would not let it die, Galic. He would not let that die. And that's why he just kept, that's why the bank rule is in Blood Bowl 2. And he just never should have about this fucking the, like the one thing you know what I mean <laughs> that the guy who's made loads and loads of games that have sold for millions and millions and millions of copies and stuff the one thing that he said is too shit that he should never put in the game he just campaigned relentlessly to get it put in <laughs> instead of just thinking mm, maybe Jervis knows something. Oh, well, that's the egos of the game designer. Hmm. Pretty wild, yeah. Oh wow, I hate this. <laughs> I really hate that. Don't you just stand up the beast and then 2D with him and then d like move? That was crazy. Cause like even if you, I, I, 
I guess it gets I you the know beast exactly in action. What happened there. It gets you the beast in action, I guess. If if you power him, then it adds you a dodge to there without dodge. I guess or you keep it. I don't know. I don't know. I'd hate it though. I don't get that. Maybe he had a plan. It was good. And 14, and there is no the match for the Nurgle here. There's oh, no another full appearance fail. Huge that's the second one in a row, there, and there's yeah. a big one that was the chain. Yeah. There's absolutely zero penetration from out of the way in here. All oh, right, here's a. He's freed his friends here. Who's to say if he had a plan or not? Like, that's the thing, people, like, you don't know what people's plans are, do you know? Like, people have plans, and you don't know what they are, so... Yeah, and then, like, one roll can completely throw the plan out of action. Yeah. Yep. So, so sometimes, I, rather than saying that's the worst move I've ever seen, what a complete fucking moron, I think it's better to say, I don't know what his plan was with that move. <laughs> Oh, there is not much of a plan because I think Andy Day was a very good position in all the half. And now that's what you get, you know, a rotter being the scoring threat. Yeah. And having to do, you know, one this uh, versus side steppers. Shouldn't have followed. Why do you follow? Oh, 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 oh no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, uh, doesn't matter, no. Yeah, so it was right because he keeps tackling it, so it was absolutely right to follow. <laughs> <laughs> Both of us, how do you follow? <laughs> I was just going uh, to the squares. Yeah. He has to do G5. Oh, so this is just full potato. Oh, beast potato. Yeah. Potato. So it's two. Uh, I reckon. Was that one G5 or two G5s? Two. Just one, I think. Because I reckon two. maybe. Oh, that's two. Was mm -hmm. it two? I thought you just did one. Going no. for it, going for it. Yeah, it did too. Man. Just one. But before it is, there is a before another it was two the GFIs. Ah, oh, right, right. Is, oh. the, is, the, is, the, is the extra GFI handoff not better? Oh, no, he did and too. Then... He did too. No, he did too. Oh. And he gets powered. Um, and that is GG. And that's uh, nearly. It's not over. It's not over. Don't say it's over. I've We've got a dodge. There. I've just got a notification saying I'm banned from Elios chat. Yep, yep. We've got a <laughs> dodge, double GFI, 1D, power him, pick it up, hand off score. It's not over. Don't very say it's over. Very important making this absolutely useless uh, block first. Yeah. Okay. Oh. It's not over! Don't say it's over! Oh, here I'm we go! Here we go! Yeah, nice. <laughs> and get the KO! Yeah, it's got a sure hands. So yeah, sure one hands. Nine. One in nine. One in nine. That's it. Doesn't Three happen. Plus. Three plus. Eat a play. No. Fails. Oh my god. <laughs> Send packing. No, the amount of times I've lost a game on a free plus like that. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, now it's over, yeah. <laughs> now it's over. 100% over Elio, the seal of over in. <laughs> it was, uh, mate, it's good, good win for Andy, to be honest. Mm. Tricky matchup. Yeah, despite having a 250 TV advantage, it, it still looked tricky. It yeah. is a tricky, yeah. it is a tricky matchup, yeah. Yeah. Despite having, like, that's how bad Undead are, I guess. Eh? Despite having, like, seven guard or whatever he's got. And despite having a 250 TV advantage, it was still tricky. And he, he was, he, uh, he was uh, lucky that the Mighty Blow Claw didn't fire much at all. Yeah, but it's only Mighty Blow Claw. Like, there's a real good yeah, chance. Yeah, and there's only one of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he could have easily high Like, he didn't really high roll. He could have easily high rolled with it. Like, it's, it's still, it can still high roll, can't it, Mighty Blow Claw? Mighty Blow Claw, I mean, uh, at some point uh, you're going to achieve something because I think Andy only got got two chaos and a uh, useless... Uh, oh, well, the ghoul is dead, yes. Undead OP, Jim. Yeah. Undead OP. Yeah. Well, 
there you go unbelievable congratulations Andy Davo uh, no commiserations for ours Wayne thank you very much Fymir and Dimmy <laughs> thank you Jim this is Dimmy here <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic oh yeah